Good morning, everyone. Today, I am hanging out with Claudine. If you have watched Joan Day 365, I met her towards the end, so like around episode 300. I met her around that time when she was living in Korea for one year. And basically, when we met, it was like the rest was history because we hung out so often in Korea, made a ton of memories. And when she moved back to LA and then New York now, I always see her in different cities. So she is definitely a special friend of mine. Um, so if you don't know who she is, you will see her very soon. If not, you guys finally get to see Claudine in my vlogs again. A lot of you guys have been asking where she is. She's here in New York and we're finally going to meet up. I mean, I met up with her two times before, but I'm finally going to vlog something. She wanted to explore around East Williamsburg. So we're gonna have lunch around there, walk around that neighborhood and in the evening we're gonna go see the sunset with a slice of her favorite pizza she always judges me because Prince Street is one of my favorites and she told me that the place we're gonna go to later today is her absolute favorite so we shall see um, but yeah today is gonna be a full day and we're just gonna be exploring Williamsburg together and lots of heart to hearts because Claudine is the ultimate heart girl she has a huge heart of course but the Joan Day reference to that would be she was wearing a heart rate monitor where she was basically recording her heart rate during her time in Korea. So when we went to concerts, we would see her heart rate going up like crazy when she um, saw artists like Crush Sike and DPR Live. She's, she's the reason why I got into DPR Live. And then... Um, like we just explored a lot of places we cried we laughed and that was just such a good time in our lives and so yeah every time i think about it i'm so grateful so i wanted to start the vlog with an introduction to who claudine is because it's been forever since she's appeared in my vlog so with all the new faces and new changes i wanted to do a quick intro of who she is because i feel like i won't have the opportunity to do so later because i don't know what the setting will be like if there's going to be music in the background or lots of people i just wanted to do it when it's nice and quiet in the apartment with that being said let's head over over to Williamsburg and do a proper vlog of I guess the fun stuff because I've been doing a lot of daily routines here and so uh, let's do something fun today uh, oh it's so good I like it thank you Oh, do you mix it with the ketchup? Dude, hell yeah. Ah! I always like, like, down. Dude, the same. Do you have to? ketchup and cholula? Mm. 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 This is really good, right? It's kind of ice. ice. Mm. Mm. Alright, after lunch, we're just gonna walk around. It's a very windy day here. It's very windy. Bad day for lip gloss. It, it really is. It just keeps getting on my hair. They're like windy, I like a trail of red lipstick. What are you Same. wearing? I'm wearing a like a lip clap, like lip gloss. Uh -huh. Mac, Mac, Mac. Gloria. I'm wearing yeah. Mac too. Mac chili for me. Perfect. All right, we're just gonna walk around, enjoy, enjoy our date. <laughs> the music was so loud at that restaurant. I couldn't okay. really. It was great. Yeah, was no, great music. good music, but not good for vlogging because copyright. <laughs> Oh my god! Thank you. Yes! So 
cute. Yeah, and it's like a like store on the woman of color. Yeah. We got a support. We got a support. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we were walking around and we got tired, so we came home to cool down. Yeah. Before our little picnic moment. Yeah. With our pizza. That'll be chill. I'm. There's this. I'm really excited to take you actually because that's like my go-to evening mm -hmm. and now I'm scared putting it on Joan Day. I'm <laughs> like, dude, my spot's gonna get blown up. No, no, it's an institution. <laughs> you guys people, want me cutting. People, yeah, people really like it, but mm. that's always, I always like to go there. Yeah. And go to the sunset. Claudine and I, we've been friends since Joan Day 365. Yeah. I met you at the last leg of 365. Yeah. Yeah, the summer, like a few months. Mm. Damn. And yeah. then you came to my last episode thing, I think. Yeah, I watched the last episode with your mom. You weren't even there. Oh, you, with I, my mom? Yeah, I was That's with your so mom. That's so cute. I, no, I remember you were doing something and I was there uh -huh. because like Abe and you had left and I was still oh, yeah, in the apartment just, that day. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, no, actually you came back actually and we watched it together. Really? In that side room, your second, the other bedroom. That was the first apartment. Oh. That was my first, yeah. first apartment. Yeah. So much has changed your since. We're five years older now. We are five years older. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Shit, it's been five years. Are you crying? No, no, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. That's such a... <sighs> it was such years. a good time in our life. Yeah, that right? seems a long time ago, but five years seems... Yeah, five years ago. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's gonna get kind of deep, I feel like, because I feel like I was like mentally the happiest when I was doing that. Babu. Yeah. I think that was... Oh man. Oh my gosh, we were Dude! <laughs> <laughs> we were planning on crying, but when I filmed my intro this morning, I was like talking about you, and then I kind of had like a little flashback in the, like, mm. in the middle, like while I was talking, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I can't cry right now. This is the start of Joan Day. I know. <laughs> no, we can't cry in the beginning. I know. I think, well, I think that time in our lives mm -hmm. was so important because we were really setting out to like form our own identities at that right, time. Right, right, right. Like you mm -hmm. were really developing your career, mm -hmm. making vlogs. Mm -hmm. And I really at that time wanted to I really understand myself. I was in I was in Korea eight months I think. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Almost one year. Yeah. And I did a lot of things during that time that was so essential to like who I am as a yeah. person. A lot of processing my own trauma mm -hmm. um, and like I needed that to happen yeah. but even th even through all of the processing and navigating mm -hmm. like our early mid 20s right it was still some of the most fun yeah every day was an adventure every day was there was a lightness to it yeah that I I really am nostalgic for. yeah which is also crazy because mm -hmm. that was when we we literally were friends for like a month yeah and then we were just like getting to know each other really mm. like in light speed yeah and spending so much time together because you live so close yeah oh yeah, yeah. i live like 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 three or five stops yeah, yeah, away yeah. three or four stops away and then we just like enjoyed each other's company we i feel like we we didn't cry did we cry a lot i feel like we cried a I lot always, I, that, we always that cried that hasn't changed that hasn't changed yeah. a little bit we cried a lot, we laughed a lot, we experienced a lot, we mm. felt a lot. I feel like in the beginning of Joan Day 365, I was so caught up on trying to like find new things to share on Yeah, online. that was really exhausting. It was, no, 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 it was so fun. Yeah? I really enjoyed 365 because it was me showing my Korea, like my soul for mm. like the first time, yeah. like to that level, right? Yeah. And then, so I remember we would just like randomly go to like Seoul Station and be like, let's buy a ticket somewhere. And we would be like, okay, what's oh, like yeah. the, what's That was pretty place? chaotic. That was, oh man. There was nothing, there was, there was that, a tteokbokki. Yeah, no, we had that one really beautiful cafe. And that, uh -huh. there was that like, 
like whole like mom and pop shop where yeah all it was a lot of like mm -hmm. construction workers in yeah there. that's why we knew the food was good i was like mm. we're like that's gonna be good you know it's gonna be good when it's like like oh, ajashidu like, yeah oh. and like oh yeah like, yeah they're not wasting for time for sure here. i know that was a good time and i think um over the past years, when you left Korea, it got hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, it got hard for both of us, right? Yeah, it did. Well, like, I felt like I had like my routine here on Joan Day, mm. but I think in terms of inspiration, it sort of changed because I just yeah. shared, I literally shared 365 videos, and I was like, what more can I do? Yeah. Um, but luckily, um, there were there's always something going on in yeah. Seoul, which was nice. But it was still like I feel like twenty five, three sixty five was when I was the most 25. excited about everything. Dude, I think that's why it's hard for me to go back to Korea. Actually. Really? Yeah, I think it's like going back. Vis well, pandemic meant that like we couldn't mm -hmm. we we're still very much in a pandemic but yeah i think that korea to me mm -hmm. it's like a lot of my my youth mm -hmm. and my like yeah my youth and my last bit of like when i really really felt young and free mm, for yeah. sure do you still see the same commenters that mm -hmm. used to comment for the yeah, I That's do. Precious. It is really precious. And when I meet them in person, mm -hmm. like they tell me their ID and I was like, oh, I respond to your stuff. Oh. <laughs> like when I was in Paris, I had like a casual meetup. Yeah, 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 I saw that. And I saw familiar faces. What do you call it? I remember when I first met my partner uh -huh. and we like followed each other <laughs> on Instagram. This is embarrassing. No, not embarrassing. Don't just say it. Yeah, he, I remember, yeah, he, he followed, like, we were following each other on Instagram, this is like the first day we met, uh -huh. and I was like, oh, I don't know about, you know, like, whatever. Yeah, like, we'll follow each other, and then he was like, how do you know Joan Day? And I was like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, she's one of my best friends. Yeah. Like, like I, what, how do you, how do you know her? And I thought that you guys were, like, friends, friends or something, because yeah. he followed you, uh -huh. and she's like, no, I watched her vlog, and I was like, oh! And she was like, I was you like, should be like, then you should know who I am. I was like, do you, <sighs> sir? No, but he he watched oh you gosh. like when he he was living in Korea for oh. like three months during the pandemic because he got oh. stuck there. Oh, I didn't know um, that. You you're this you're the first time telling me this. Oh, I didn't oh know that. yeah. Well, he got stuck in Korea, and oh, so I know. when he caught when he came back to mm -hmm. America. He was like really missing Korea, so yeah. he started watching your vlogs. Aww. So he's like that subset of like later Joan Day, Joan Day viewers. viewers, where like he's like yeah, like Aww. he's nostalgic yeah. for Korea. Korea, and I think that's the bridge. I think like people have different relationships right. with you and mm -hmm. your channel depending sure. on like the time and place mm -hmm. they were in Korea. Yeah, and that's why I was so curious about like like what does your community kind of look like look now? Like, yeah because there's uh -huh. so many different entry points. Mm -hmm. He grew up. Yeah, I'm turning 30 next you month. You are. I'm turning 31 in two. I'm hella excited. Are you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the next decade. <laughs> we have some live music in the background. I know, there's a, have you shown people what the No, I have not. Is? I can't, I can't expose Christine's place. Oh like yeah, that. that's true, that's true. <laughs> I wonder when our next like sit down is gonna be, how old we're gonna be. Cause we, you were saying like, oh, it's been a while since we've done Joan Day. And I was like, yeah, yeah. cause I just don't vlog that much with like yeah. people I'm like, I mean, I do vlog with friends, but I feel like when I'm visiting America, I just want to enjoy the moment yeah. and catch up. And it's kind of hard to vlog ketchups. Yeah, like, yeah. Unless they're like in 10 second intervals where yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm eating Claudine and then film us eating. Yeah. But to have like sit downs, because we used to do a lot of this. Yeah. Like we would just we would walk into a random restaurant in Korea, yeah. eat, walk down, like, do you have your heart rate monitor yeah. on? We did like, a, yeah, there was just a lot of activity. I think Yeah. one thing, I'm like, I don't know why I'm speaking there, but like <laughs> yeah, the thing is, it's like one thing I really appreciate 
about how you approach vlogging. It's not, and and also having like important friend time mm -hmm. is that you understand that there's a time and a place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And understanding that like we've seen each other many times since you've last like our hangouts are not on vlogs. Yeah. It's like we're just trying to like be there for each other. Yeah. And, like just Yeah. Yeah. So right now we are going to walk over to get our slice of pizza. And then have our little picnic, watch the sunset, and call it an evening. Yeah. Got my picnic mat. We're walking over. Holly G's slice shop. Yes. Her favorite. It is my favorite. This is like my favorite, like after I spend a whole day in Williamsford or Greenpoint, mm -hmm. like this is how I like to end, end your day. my day. That's like, how we're ending our day. Exactly. Mm. It's gonna be fun. Don't blow my We got our pizza, walking over to the sunset. We're having our romantic date. Aww. Today's such a good day. It is. It was really like, it was very soft. Also, we did, I mean, Catch we had up. a lot of, div yeah, we had a lot of yeah. stimuli. Uh, oh, oh look, the shadow! Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, that is really pretty. So pretty! Oh. Also, the cheese is like a thin layer yeah. underneath, so... Oh my gosh, so good! Mm -hmm. I'm just having my size. This is our view! Mm -hmm. So beautiful! And it's gonna be really... One time I was here when there was a storm coming. Oh, really? Like half of Manhattan was all stormy, and this side was all sunny. Ah, oh, chinja. Cheers! I feel like it's a New York City phenomenon, like around piers like this where it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. There's always like one dude with a speaker <laughs> that will come and try to put vibes on. Where's our dude? He'll, he'll show up. No dude today. Very reliable. He'll show up later. <laughs> yeah, one time I was, I was at my sister's house, like by uh -huh. the pier there, uh -huh. and there was this one, like one dude who was mm -hmm. posting up at the sunset, blasting his music. Yeah. And you see this other guy, like, mm -hmm. he comes 10 minutes later with mm -hmm. the big-ass boombox mm -hmm. and he sees that someone's already there putting on the vibes and he just looks... He so looks, sad. Yeah, he's dejected and he yeah. walks away. That happened... Well, like, I posted this on my story, but mm -hmm. then when Rosie was in town, mm -hmm. we went to Domino Park. Oh, nice. And then we were just chilling, like, listening to... Like, we were just talking mm -hmm. and then her song comes out. <gasps> and we were just like... Does he know we're here? That's but he funny. didn't. He didn't know. So Dude. we were like, oh my gosh, proud moment. No one recognized? It was late at night. Oh, true. So not a lot of people were there. Yeah. But it was really cool. I think you're right. One vibe guy. No. It's nice because I think people appreciate the public spaces. Yeah. So um, no. Maybe 
I could be your solace Maybe I could be something more Well baby it's always summertime When I'm with you that's time